command and control you, but I'm hoping that the, the, the influence of the crowd will simply come together and get everybody to sit down. <laughs> it almost worked. <laughs> Talk 
about you, but what you want to do is you want them to talk about you and not somebody else. Um, if you know the R.E.M. song, it's the end of the world as we know it. Um, here's the thing that's different. How many people here are in marketing agencies? I know there are a couple. I'm really sorry for learning to say now. However, here you get a problem. Because if I can go, as a friend of mine did, she had a, um, her neighbor's son was starting a grocery delivery, online grocery delivery business, sort of like Peapot. And she said, give me some, uh, this is like a year and a half ago, before Twitter had 10 million people on it. They, you know, they were probably only 2 million at this point. Anyway, she says, give me some ideas about how he could start his business cost effectively. She just threw it out to her friends and followers on Twitter. She assembled it in a list the next day. The next day, she had a hundred fabulous marketing ideas on Twitter for this business for free. Now, those ideas came from people that you would normally have to spend $500 an hour to talk to. So, in the olden days, we all, all as entrepreneurs, would go in and we we try to find a marketing agency, and we pay that marketing agency somewhere between five and fifty thousand dollars. 